What has been going on here? A woman was stabbed to death here last night. A police officer. Why would anybody kill that very attractive young police officer? And what was she doing here anyway? No one has told us anything. John will know. Where is he? Well, I heard one of the cops say that he was at the police station. It just occurred to me that two people have been stabbed since you came to live under this roof, Mr. Montez. He, he was out to dinner with me. Lola and I decided to give Mo the night off since we were the only people at home. Thank goodness Addie and the boys were at that amusement park. Did she say when she'd be back? Later today, I think. I was going to go to L.A. to be with David. Now, of course, I won't go because, well, with this lunatic on the loose. Oh, <laughs> thank heaven you two girls weren't here. What's wrong? My cousin tried to steal my boyfriend. That's what's wrong. Lola's well, been after Marco since the minute she got here. Oh, how dare you, young lady? I didn't do we anything. We took you as a oh, guest. That's so not true. Please, let's, let's, just, let's just talk to each other. What's there to talk about? It is absolutely wrong to go after someone who's already spoken for. I didn't do that. Oh, then why do Marco and Langston both say you did? Lola didn't mean to do anything wrong, Dorian. Oh, so kissing Marco, rubbing herself all over him, that's not wrong? Uh, yeah. Okay, I liked Marco. But once I found out that he wanted to be with Langston, I totally backed off. Oh, yeah, right. We took this girl into my house. She was our guest, and this is how she repays it's us? It's not a crime to make a mistake. Puppy, I swear I did what you told me to do at the Buenos Aires Cafe. I swear. And what was that, may I ask? I went into the kitchen and I told Marco that I didn't want to come in between him and Langston and that I valued my family too much to do that. Oh my, she's pathological. Huh, clearly. No, no, that is exactly what I asked Lola to do. That, that's exactly what I asked her to do. And she did that. Right, Marco? She did that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. She did come into the kitchen. She told me she promised her dad she'd forget about me. And then she tried to make out with me. Is what Marco is saying true? Of course it's true. But why don't we just let Marco speak? Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. And that's not the first time Lola made a play for me. What does He's that mean? Lying. I want to hear what he has to say. Well, the night of the dance, she kissed me then too. I know I did. Be quiet. And she begged me not to say anything, so I didn't. Because I knew how much it would kill Langston knowing what her cousin did. Bobby. Don't listen to him. Don't let me. Don't let him call me a liar. He's calling you a liar. You, you are a young girl who's having feelings you're not used to. Don't having. treat me like a child. I will treat you oh, the way you deserve you to be. You have turned my father against me. You will pay for this. Lola? Lola? Lola is very upset. I imagine she is. Must be painful being outed as a skanky hoe. Don't you speak of my daughter like that. Langston, I apologize to you. To you as well, Marco. I am so sorry she did what she did. Well, it's over now. I, I, don't, I don't get it because I know she loves you. Don't worry about it. Excuse us. I obviously don't know my child like I should. She isn't a child. She's a young woman. I've been trying to make up for the time we lost by being open, trying to draw her out. But she's a mystery to me. You did the right thing. You told her you disapproved. You told her to stop pursuing Marco. I told her. We talked. And then she broke the promise we made. 
And what promise was that? Serious conversation. What promise did you make? Between Lola and me. Oh, I get it. You have a conversation with Lola and our daughters end up at each other's throats. You know why and I'm not supposed to know? When I, when I told her that it was wrong for her to pursue Marco, she accused me of doing the same thing with you. I really don't understand. You don't, you don't understand. I cannot ask my daughter to deny her heart's desire if I am not willing to do the same. 